Hey, it's me, Spencer Terry. We're actually going to do an unboxing today. Here's a closer look at it. So, this is Sermon Armory. That's what it's called. 496 pieces. The many figures included in here are Tony Stark, Pepper Potts, Nick Fury, War Machine, Iron Man Mark III, Iron Man Mark 85, Iron Man Mark 25, and Whiplash. I'll give you a look at the back here. So, start from the top. And we'll slowly work our way around it. There you go. Alright, so let's get into this. And we're going to do a time lapse. Okay, so you see. It just opens just like that. Alright, so now. Time for the time lapse. Build. So the time lapse just ended, we're here for the review. So here's the completed set, and we'll start with the minifigures box order. So here's Tony Stark. The shirt, this is actually from the first Avengers movie. And then he has a back face that reveals, of course, the hologram display when he's in the Iron Man armor. Chris Pepper Potts. I uh, believe this is the same one that comes in Ironmonger Mayhem. Just a normal face expression. And then you could turn it around to an angry face expression. Next up is Nick Fury. He's got, of course, the eye patch. And then he's got, like, an open vest shield suit. This looks like a good figure to me. Next up is War Machine. War Machine has a gun turret on his back. You can see the build there. It's made up of three pieces. And so, this is where it starts getting based off Iron Man 2, which is the main theme of this set, but it has other hidden references. So basically, this is supposed to be Iron Man Mark 2, and it seems like a lot of people are confused about this. It's when hammer made the upgrades to actually make it a war machine armor so this is literally war machine mark one not iron man mark two even though that's technically what the armor was previously next up iron man mark three so this is the one featured in iron monger mayhem and it's actually the new design for the iron man suits um as you could see there's a lot of detail and you could lift it up for a hologram display. You could lift pretty much all these Iron Man armors up. I forgot to mention for the War Machine. Here you could see his face expression, although he doesn't have a heads up display like uh, Tony does, so I'm surprised by that. But, like That's the only face expression. Next up, Iron Man Mark 85. So this is obviously from Avengers Endgame, and um, I think it's cool because if you remember, I'm going to show it right now. Okay, so you just saw that part where he used the knife that he made out of his nanotech armor, and he has that knife, he has the shield where he blocks, all that, so really cool that they included that 
Anyways, next up, Mark 25. As you can see, it's like these giant fist gloves with made up of yellow and gray pieces. As you can see, the picture to this, it looks accurate. Um, it has this yellow armor plate as an additional piece to it. It flips up, there's a hologram display. And yeah, this is what the actual suit looks like. That's from Iron Man 3. And now, Whiplash, the final character, this is from Iron Man 2, towards the end. It would be a little cool if they made a mech of it, since basically Whiplash was bigger than them in Iron Man 2, but anyways. So this one, you can't actually flip the mask up. You just take the helmet off, and it reveals his face, um, kind of a mischievous grin. And then on the back, you can see the printing, and then this other face expression. It's like an angry face expression. He comes with these blue, like, whip chains. They're like Lego chains, but they're obviously supposed to be the whips. And then his hairpiece right here. You put it on. It's like a ponytail on the back. Um, so that's all the figures. Let's get into the actual set itself. So first we'll start with Tony Stark's car, it's a sport car, and the main thing about it is the, you're probably wondering what are these tan pieces, well it's actually the map to Stark Expo from Iron Man 2, and you could piece it all together for the city, because he, when he was trying to find the new element, you could use just one of these tables. Basically, it actually uses, like, Lego rackets, and they use those as wheels, which is surprising. So I guess it's not really wheels. It's, like, different way of using that piece. So here are the blueprints. One is of Captain America's shield. That's obviously an Iron Man 2 reference. And then the other blueprint is the new element. It's the blueprint of that. So basically, you'd have just this average table, it's literally a base plate, and then those wheels. So you could lay out the map, just piece it together onto the table. Okay, and then you could see the city for yourself. You can move it, you could do whatever, make all those scenes from Iron Man 2, so that's cool. Next up, all the hologram armors. So the hologram armors we get, it's actually super hard to see because they made it clear and transparent. So this is Mark 1 and it says reconstruction on it. It was when he was trying to make, I'm guessing this is still from Iron Man 1 when he was trying to upgrade the suit. But then he just made Mark II, so I don't know why it says that. But anyway, so you could just put that in here if you wanted to in this Hall of Armor display. Which you could rearrange in multiple ways. It's just connected by your simple pieces. You've got this hook attachment, and then you've got the bar attachment. And they just clip on really simply. And you could like take them apart and then place this on top of it. Um, so the next hologram display, it says nanotech, and it shows the arc reactor that's in the nanotech, which obviously he got the surgery and didn't need it. So that's cool. It's basically like a blueprint, but it's a hologram display for some reason. And then this is Mark 25, the Silver Centurion. They actually made a polybag release of this, so basically, um, I guess it's showing the chest plates and the helmet, so maybe this is when he, it's like, it's like a super powerful Iron Man suit, like more powerful than the rest. There's always something like that that's different in Iron Man marks. So now, if you're wondering, this is not dummy, this is actually something that's supposed to be building him up. 
and this middle plate you see here so like Iron Man will stand in this middle plate and he'll get either armored up or get armored off that's mainly shown in Avengers and Iron Man 3 um, okay so now the last few parts of this set these are the extra pieces here is his workshop this is just I'm not sure what this is trying to be. It's basically like a dresser or something to where you have these four drawers with a red layout. You have a light. You have like a red, who knows what that's supposed to be, maybe a trophy. I'm guessing this is an arc, a miniature arc reactor. This looks like a gun, but it's obviously probably not a gun. Then... There's a wrench there, and the drawers can actually open. But, um, so here is the rolling desk. This is not a light. This is actually where he works on the Iron Man armor. And so we could take Mark III off of here. Okay, place the body just like that. And then it comes with this piece right here place that just like that and then we could have his helmet here whatever so this is his stool and then it actually comes with a blowtorch and this is from the first Iron Man movie when he's actually like building his helmet although that was when he was forging the Mark I helmet, so if you had the Mark I helmet, you could recreate that with the blowtorch and stuff. And the hammer. But, they just use it for Mark III for some reason. Here is the actual blowtorch right here. But yeah, so that's cool. And he could just switch between that here. I'm thinking it could either be... A cooldown from Iron Man 1, where that robot he built kept shooting water at him when he was doing test flights. Could either be that, or like an ironer or something. Anyways, that was the set. Hope you liked it. If you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe.